Today I'm going to show you how to create as many Jabber profiles as you want and update as many users as you want using the bulk administration tool rather than doing that process manually one by one. We're going to start with the users first because if you try to make the Jabber profiles and the users don't exist and don't have the correct permissions it will fail. So I made 10 bogus names. I used this generate a random name site and I created them in Active Directory and I imported them into Call Manager. So they are in here already, not associated to any phones, no directory numbers, no mobility, and no permissions information. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bulk admin tool to update these profiles so they're ready to be associated to a Jabber profile. So I prepared this CSV file. It's actually just a text file, but it's formatted as a CSV file. And you can see that there's these columns. First one is the user ID, and that's those 10 bogus IDs that I created. And then there's allow control of device from CTI, and you can see that's set to true. Um, and then enable mobility, that's also set to true. And then there's a couple of permissions groups. There's access control group one, and then the name of that is actually standard CTI enabled. And the access control group two, which is the standard CCM end user. So let me just show you where these are in call manager so that this isn't um, too confusing. So let's click on Charles Jackson and let's bring up this text file and we can look at it. So there's the standard, or actually let's start at the allow control of a device from CTI and enable mobility. Those are right in the Unity. Um, let's see, so there is allow control device from CTI, that's already checked. And then there's also enable mobility. So those are gonna get updated to be true from this. And then over here we see the um, access control group one. So it's gonna add one of those or access control group one is saying add one, add a group, and it wants to add the um, standard CTI enabled. So rather than having to come in here manually, down here in the permission information, and find those two groups, the standard CCM end users and standard CTI enabled, it's actually gonna upload it or update it right in this file. And then the last two, again, are just Booleans that are right on the user profile. The home cluster and enable user for unified CM, IM, and presence. <clears throat> Let's see, so let me show you those two. So here they are. So that's basically just going in and going like this. So after um, this runs, the user is going to look something like that. standard CCM end users and standard CTI enabled. I'm not gonna save this, but this is what is changing. It's coming through, it's checking this, checking this, 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 and then adding those two um, access control groups. So that was a pretty <laughs> rough explanation, but hopefully uh, when you see this file, you'll be able to understand it. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll uh, actually add this file to this uh, video so that you can um, uh, modify it for your own uses. So let's go ahead and move over to the bulk administration tool and upload that file. So I went over to bulk administration, upload, download files, and now I'm going to click add new. And then I'm gonna click choose file. And here's the file we were creating users upload open and then i'm going to select the target and i'm going to choose users and then select the transact transaction type and i'm going to say update users custom file and save so now let's go ahead and try to update those users go over to bulk administration users update users custom file Okay, let's choose the file that we just uploaded. I'm gonna leave the user template name, value, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Job description, update users, custom file. Sounds good to me. 
Now submit and run immediately. Job request submitted. Use the job scheduler to see the status of your job. So we'll go to bulk administration, job scheduler, and see what happened. Click find and there it is. Sequence completed. And let's see, there's the job ID. And the job result status is error. Number of records processed, number of records failed, total number of records. So let's go ahead and look at the log file name to see what it didn't like. So update for nine users. Update for one user failed. LDAP sync status enabled. Some fields cannot be updated. So it's saying A Garcia does not exist. So I'll go back and take a look at that, but it sounds like the rest of them did. And yes, it is correct. I must have forgotten to add A Garcia. So let's look at one of these people, D Purcell. Let's see. And so I can see home cluster is checked. Enable user for unified CM, IM, and presence is checked. Allow control of device from CTI checked. Enable mobility checked. And the user is now part of those permission groups. So that is awesome. That user is now ready to be associated to a Jabber profile. So next we need to create a phone template. So back in bulk administration, we'll go to phones, phone template, and we are going to add a new one. And we'll click the phone type drop down and go all the way down to Cisco Unified Framework Services, or rather Cisco Unified Client Services Framework. And we will go next. And the template name, I'll just make it Jabber Bulk Template. Description I made Jabber. Device pool, I will just do phones. Obviously, this will differ for yours. Leave that alone. Phone button template. Standard client services framework. Calling search space. I'm going to put in mine. You can put in whatever is appropriate for your Jabber users. And I think I just need to work to look for a security profile. There it is, device security profile. First one, the standard SIP non-secure profile. We need a SIP profile. I'll do standard SIP profile and we'll see if it lets me just stick with that without throwing an error and it will. And then I do not believe I need to do anything to change any of this. So we are about ready to upload our file which I prepared ahead of time and I will share with you and let's just go through that quick while we look at our new um, our new template here. And it's the same type of deal. Uh, it's a CSV. And you can see at the top here you have the headers for the column and the device name. So there I have it with CSF and then the user ID of all the people that I'm associating to a profile. And then I have the owner user ID is next. So what that is going to do is right here, owner user ID is going to find a user or it's not going to find a user. It's going to associate Anthony F or a Ford to this Jabber profile. And then it's going to update the description. So right here, the description is right, right now is Jabber, but the first one will have Anthony Ford Jabber as the description. And then you see there's directory number one. That's going to go right here and it's going to be 4296. And then let's see, you can see there's a couple of blank commas because he does not have a second directory or a third directory. Um, so next is uh, display one. So that's going to be in the directory number. And I believe that is not yeah, right here. It's going to be right there. Display. So the caller ID is going to be set by whatever's in that column. So display one is going to be Anthony Ford. 
and then the uh, ASC2 display is going to be Anthony Ford 4296. So that should pop populate it good enough for them to use uh, right off the bat. Um, let's see here. So I saved this file. It is about time to upload it. So I'll go back to bulk administration tool, upload, download files, and I'm gonna click add new, and I'm gonna choose the file. Here it is, phone upload. Open that, and I'm gonna select the target, and it is going to be phones, select transaction type, insert phones, specific details, and save that I forgot to do. I forgot to put spots for directory numbers on the Jabber profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'll go to bulk, administration, phones, and phone template. And I'll click on my Jabber bulk template. And I have to add directory number templates to these. So um, I was gonna modify up to three of them. And you can see that on my CSV, there's directory number one, directory number two, and directory number three. For those to be able to update, I need to have the templates right here on the association. So I'm gonna go ahead and create those. And the directory number information, these are all pre-existing directory numbers that I'm just adding to them. So up here, all I'm gonna do is just add a line template name. And so I just call it Jabber Line 1. Um, I know what partition I want in. I don't think I have to do that, though, because it will just add it in there. But I'm going to put it in the route partition, um, and I'm going to leave the rest of it the same up here. Then I'm just going to come down here, and um, I don't even have to click those, I don't think. But I'm going to click Save. Um, and it should pull in the rest of it from my CSV file. Because remember we had the display with the ASC2 and the line text label. So I'm gonna click save. And now you can see that's there. So I'm just gonna put it on pause and do the same thing for the other ones. Okay, so now our phone profile is ready to go. So now I have everything all set to go. I'm gonna to try to kick off the job. So bulk administration, phones, insert phones, file name, phone upload.txt, phone template name, Jabber bulk template, run immediately, and submit. And it submitted successfully. So let's go see how it looks in the job scheduler. And here it is, we'll see how it ended up, and success. So it says it inserted nine, number of records failed, zero, total number of records, and the log file name, no error found. So let's go ahead and look back at these jabbers. I'm gonna go into phone, find, and here they all are. And so let's see, CSF, J. Simpson. So if we click on it, we see John Simpson Jabber. It's got the name, calling search space. It's got the user, J. Simpson. And let's go check out the directory number. Doesn't have a description, alerting name, or ASC2 alerting name. Now I think you could add those in here if you wanted. Um, now, a lot of times, if it's an existing directory number, it's gonna have all of that anyway, so I didn't add that. Um, but a lot of times, it's gonna be an existing directory number, which it wasn't in this case because it's a lab, and it's gonna have all of this voicemail information and the calling search space and everything already associated to it. Um, but if we go down, you can see it did pick up this stuff too. It's got John Simpson, John, Sim John Simpson, 4301, and you could add, um, you could add more information to this uh, in here as well, so that this is all filled out. But nonetheless, this Jabber profile should be good to go. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to log into a VM as 
John Simpson and uh, see if I can log in and make some calls. Okay, so I logged in as John Simpson and because I set up Jabber for auto discovery, which you can watch in one of my old videos, it should find the servers and it didn't. Oh, I take that back, it did find it. After a minute, I had to accept another certificate. Let me sign in. And there we go. So 4301. And there we go. So those Jabber profiles are working and the users can use them and they can be called. So obviously preparation is key for all of this. Um, I know how to do this because I had to make several hundred of these when COVID hit and all of a sudden everybody was working remotely. Um, so what I did was I set up a little form site on our network and I um, set up the form so that it would generate a CSV with all of that information and then I could basically uh, upload it. Um, I also created like a little script that formatted it correctly. Um, but if you're just gonna make one or two Jabber profiles, you probably just wanna make them manually unless you want to just practice um, on how to do this. It took me several tries before I got these jobs to actually run. It's really nice to have a, a sandbox that you can work in and aren't afraid of screwing up phones that are already in existence or just doing something unexpected. Um, but yeah, if you have to make uh, hundreds of them, you're definitely going to want to figure out how to get that data formatted um, and uh, learn how to use the bulk administration tool because otherwise it is going to be a headache. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, please comment, and uh, please subscribe. And uh, I will be making more bulk admin tool um, videos in the future. Uh, thinking about one about updating speed dials or just updating existing phones. Uh, so thanks for watching and have a good day.